Right then everyone, meet Dane. Dane, I did your best man speech a couple of weeks ago, didn't I? You did, mate. You did a great job. <laughs> and now here I am helping you do your plumbing. I'm about to undertake what many plumbers have done in the past and they only do for their best mates. I am going to help my mate Dane do a job over the phone using FaceTime, using the camera. It's not gonna be easy. You're gonna to wanna to watch all this video to see if Dane actually can complete this challenge. But before we get on with the video, let me tell you why I'm not doing it myself. So the reason I'm not gonna go and do this job myself is the fact that I'm about to go away on holiday. So here's what's going on. Dane needs his thermostatic shower changed over. The one he's got is completely ruined. So I was gonna go over and do this job now on Saturday morning, because I'm a lovely lad. I'm flying out at about three o'clock tomorrow in the morning. Don't you all love a nice early flight? Feels like you're on holiday, doesn't it? Get down the windmill at Stansted, get yourself a pint. So I'm going away with Emily for a last little holiday before we have a baby, and then we can never go on holiday ever again, or that's what my mates tell me. Dane then rings me up and goes, mate, my missus has just come down with a cold. Are you sure you want to come over here, catch her cold, and you come down with a cold halfway through your holiday? I was like, no, Dane, I don't want to do that. What are we going to do? Oh, my God. <sighs> So I decided that this job is A1 level plumbing for Dane and that he could do this over the phone if I gave him guidance. So you're going to join me in as I guide him through this job. But before we do that, let me describe what I think I'm going to have to tell him to do. So the first thing Dane's going to have to do is successfully turn his hot and cold water off. Hopefully he knows how to do that. After that, he's going to have to know how to remove the old shower hose because usually with this sort of job, if I'm going to guide a customer through it, I'm not going to teach them how to take the whole shower rail off because that's just pointless. So he's going to need to know how to take the shower hose off and then move on to the hardest bit, I'd say, which is removing the old shower valve and then preparing the new shower valve to go on and then installing the new shower valve before turning the water back on. So that's what I'm gonna try and get him to do. Let's ring him up now on FaceTime and see if he can do it. He's ringing me, Dano's ringing me. Here he is, here he is. First things first, mate, show me the tools you've got. I just wanna see what you've got, like, tools-wise. He's got a great selection, apparently, everyone. What have you got here? <laughs> have you got a pair of adjustables? Like, adjustable spanner? Uh, no. You have to be really careful. You haven't got a spanner at all, like an adjustable spanner. I don't think so. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just have to do with what we've got. First thing you've got to do is turn your water off, your hot and cold water. Do you know how to do that? Yeah, it's in the cupboard. It's in the cupboard. Right. Let's have a. Let's. So you actually know how to do that. <laughs> I do. I do know how to do that. What was your favourite joke during the best man speech, Dane? Oh, my favourite bit was definitely at the end when you got me and Fran holding hands, looking at each other. You were going to bawl, weren't you? You were about to cry. I was about to cry, getting all emotional, looking for the person in the eyes of somebody, who, you know, the person you were spending the rest of your life with. This is what I said. Statistically, the person most likely to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so obviously, guys, what we're seeing here is someone who didn't realise they were going to have to turn their water off because they haven't cleaned out their cupboard to do the work, which is mental. Where's Fran? Is she coughing somewhere? Just show her in bed to prove to the li the viewers that uh, she does actually have a cold, because that is the reason I'm not going around to do this job. I mean... <laughs> one of the things that Fran gave me a present to give to Dane at the start of the on the day of the wedding, and one one of the presents one of the presents. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's nothing actually happened. One of the presents was a wallet, and Dane gave me the wallet, and he was opening a card. He was like, oh, look at this lovely wallet. And I was like, oh, nice. And then he was reading a card, and he went, he grabbed the wallet off me. He was like, Jim, don't look in the wallet. Inside the wallet, what was there, Dane? There was loads of money. Loads of money and a Polaroid picture of Fran in a compromising position. As a DIYer, things can go seriously wrong even now, because the valve you're about to turn off might leak which wouldn't be right. Turn it round, turn your phone round, let's have a look. Okay, oh, lever valve, beautiful. All right, turn that off. So that so the valve goes across the, that's it, right, okay. Now what I want you to do is go to the shower itself and the bath as well. Just open up the hot and cold taps on both, on everything in the bathroom to make sure that the water is turned off, okay? Doing well, Dane. Right, so turn, let's, let's see the bath. Turn the bath, it's okay. That's hot and cold, yeah? 
It's a mix attack, so. Yeah, in the middle. Just put it in the middle. That's it, lovely. Sorry, Dane, I don't want to get grumpy with you, but put it in the bloody middle. Just do everything, the basin tap as well. Put that in the middle. And then obviously, lastly, put the shower on. Turn the shower and try and get it into a position where so, so turn it on and then just sort of put it to the cold and also put it to the hot. Is anything coming out? No. Excellent. Right, next part of the job. Undo the um, the shower hose on the bottom, okay? You should be able to do that with your hands. That's it, lovely. Good work. Is it, is it coming undone? Yeah, a bit of water will come out. A little bit like when you put a straw in some Coca-Cola and put your finger over the end of it. It's similar to that. I was going to say, a bit like the end of the first wee of the day. Exactly, exactly. Nice shower head you got there. Who gave you that, Dane? I don't know, some, uh, some good friend of mine. <laughs> That's a hands grow one. That's a beast. Beast shower from hands grow. <laughs> All right, okay, look. So the next bit, get your camera, just get pick it up, I want, and then show me the nuts on the back. So you see that nut there? To undo that, if you know how to undo stuff, you know which way to go, yeah? Righty tighty. Lucy, righty tighty. That's the way. Can you undo it? Does it move? No. All right, get your ridiculous set of grips on that. <laughs> Right, this is bre This is just beautiful to watch. <laughs> right, okay, grab that tight. Try not to slip. Oh, that's moving okay. nice. Lovely. Okay, cool. You got that one going. Get the other one going now as well, because it tends to be if you loosen one off and then the other, they kind of it yeah. starts to go diagonal and they and it locks a little bit, so it'd be hard to get off. Right, and also when it comes off, Dane, there'll be two little rubber washers in there that hopefully you won't need for the next bit but you might do, depends. Uh, Dane, let me have a look at them washers. Let's have a look at those washers. That's an unusual size washer. But anyway, right, show me the new box with the new shower in. Take us to the new box. That's it. Right, so that bit, that little box there, and that little box there, open those up. You shouldn't need most of the bits in those little boxes, but you will need the little rubber washers in there. If they're good, they should have a little gauze in them. He's getting his brand new wedding ring scratched already. Look at that. No, you're not going to need that bit, thank God, because they're awful. But that little rubber washer in there you're going to need, and that should have a gauze on it. Yeah, lovely. Perfect. The other one will have one of those as well, mate. People are learning how to change their shower valve with me and Dane. Now, Dane, you're not going to have to worry about which way round the hot and cold come in, because they are the same on every shower valve, or they should be. If you want to, you can change them over, but it's up to you. Whip one off and just make sure it will go on, because it should do. The threads are universal on those. So yeah, whip that. So you just undo that. That's it. Lovely. Ugh. Oh, mate. All right. What's all that? Oh, mate. What is... Okay. All right. Don't worry. Um, is there another rubber washer in there? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Take that out. You don't need that. Oh, mate. Some bodging going on in your gaff at the moment, man. I'll tell you that. Yeah, well... <laughs> And look, there's only an extra one on one side as well. That might, that might mean that they... Um, well, look, put it this way. Those washers might come in handy in a minute. <laughs> put one of your square shrouds on and just see if it covers up the old markings. But the one problem you might find is the depth of that shroud will stop your nut going fully on later. So it depends how many threads you've got showing for you to get that nut on. Hmm. <laughs> there's definitely a reason they've used multiple washers on the old install. We'll soon find out. Dane plays the gimp, Beverly, in the Plumbing Disasters videos that we do at Halloween, which is actually coming up, Dane. Oh, Master, thank you for showing me how to do my shower, Master. Oh, thank you. All right, well, look, anyway, um, so how many threads? Oh, wow, that is different, isn't it? Oh, mate. All right, OK, well, we're just going to have to deal with what you've got here. So, obviously, you know what you're going to have to do now, Dane. You, this, this is actually not going to be easy. I can, you can see the... Can you see the difference, viewers? It's about eight versus four. Wow, okay, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of washers on one side and not a lot on the other. <laughs> I mean, that is bad, mate. That's first fixing gone wrong. Like, whoever's done that have cocked up big time. You're going to have to put two to three washers in one side, okay, in the left-hand side. Yeah. I'd, I'd try two, just to start with. The new ones, yeah? Yeah, yeah, use those, because they're nice and chubby. Put that in now as well, because what you're going to want to do, Dane, is try and get both of these started at the same time. It will take a little bit of practice. So one thing I'll say is when you're trying to start a thread, go backwards until you hear, feel a click and then go forwards again, all right? Okay. Otherwise, you've got a risk of crossing the thread. And then genuinely, I am after going to get in the van and come and see you, which ain't going to be great. <laughs> but I mean, the worst thing about this, it could still result in me having to come and see you today. And I'm playing tennis at 12 o'clock, mate, for an hour with Dave Hamper, which I'll probably document on the blog channel that I run, Times with James. Good luck, Dane.
Okay, so go as loose as it Well, try, just that. try and tighten them up, see if you can get one going. If you can't get them both going at the same time, get the one on the right started first and then the one on the left. Yeah, right's on. Yeah, and then get the left going. Left's going, yeah? Yeah. Cool, right, nip them up so they... Uh, <laughs> Mate, honestly, the dude who did the plumbing there, that is so shit. <laughs> Why would anyone do that? It's like, the worst thing is, is that he's, I don't know, maybe someone else first fixed it, but he's made it harder on himself. Right, so nip them up with your little, <laughs> with your little weird grips you've got. Should I put a bit of like cloth on it to stop it? Yeah, you could do, mate. That's probably a good idea. Pants. Pants, mate. Love it. I can't believe you're using your pants to do this. <laughs> oh, amazing. Right, so just, how, how, how does it feel nice and smooth when it goes up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mate, I nice can, honestly, man, I'm going to have to come round and hope, we're going to have to try and sort that out. That, that one day, I'll come round and do that. When I come and do your water softener. These are shite. Yeah. You might have to go, mate, I mean, really, mate, you should have a spanner in your home DIY set. You know what I mean? But you haven't, because you're a dick. They're actually quite good inside them, there. Okay, cool. Right, so open the valve. Yeah? Is that open? Yeah. All right, pick your phone up and shut the shower door. Come out and shut the shower door. Right, basically, turn the basin taps off, but not the bathroom tap, bath taps. What we're going to do is you're going to have control over the situation. Otherwise, if everything was shut and you turned the water back on and there was a leak, you'd come back into abject hell. Okay, so I've got the basin tap closed, I've got the shower open. On, on. Okay, right, go and turn that valve, the mains valve, back on again, mate. I mean, basically, if you're a plumber and you get this done, you've probably earned yourself 150 quid now, 100 quid. Valve back on? Yeah. Okay, so you should hear water running into the bath. Yeah. And you should see water coming out of the shower valve. I can indeed. Right, so turn the bath off first. So you're now slowly kind of building some pressure up. And now yeah. turn the shower valve off. Let's see it, let me see it. Turn the thing round. Right, open the door, turn the shower valve off. Right, and then check your nuts to see if they've got a drip on them. They might have a little weep on them. If they do, just nip them up. Dane, I think you've done it, mate. I think you've done it. Bone dry. Dane, well done. The driest nuts in all of Saffron Walden. Right, Dane, well done, mate. That's great, how do you feel? I feel proud of myself, mate. I feel very proud. What are you going to do for the rest of the day? Are you going to go and watch Ipswich live at the football? I'm going to go and watch the Ippy. Are you taking Fran with you or is she staying in bed? Nah, Fran's going to stay in bed and feel sorry for herself today. Dane is now pointing at the next video that you should watch on Plumber Parts. All right, hit the subscribe button, watch that video. And Dane, what do we say to everyone at the end of a Plumber Parts video? Hold tight! Hold tight! <laughs>